Today we're going to be installing a Tiger cage in Poplar Hot Rodding's Project G28. The Tiger cage is a new cage system that we at Air Ride developed for chassis sniffing. Basically we tried to design a cage to pick up key structural points of the car that they designed in the car. The Tiger cage up front picks up the tow board, floorboard, and A-pillar area where there's a triple layer of thickness. And coming back to door bars here, we pick up the floorboard, the B-pillar, and the rocker panel in this area. And back here, we pick up the package tray in both planes, both the horizontal and the vertical plane. And then the trunk bars, which fasten from underneath, marry that to the rear frame rails of the car. So it makes the car really rigid and a lot more predictable to drive. Normally, the flexing of a car will cause the handling to go away, and the car will not act in a linear fashion, as the body will twist. So with the Tiger Cage, you're essentially making it a solid box from front to back, and that's the advantage of the Tiger Cage. Installing the cage is really simple. It can be put in in average six to eight hours. Depends how many of your buddies you got helping you. This cage is a totally bolt-in cage, uh, so there's no welding involved. So you can do it at home in your garage and you don't have to have any special welding skills. All you need to put in this cage is a few simple hand tools, drills, wrenches, ratchets, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing you gotta go out and buy really. Most people got it at home in their shop. Basically all you need to install this is one man, some wrenches, and a drill. To install the cage, we pulled the seal plates out, pulled the back seat out, and pulled the, the kick, front kick panels out, including the e-brake. One thing you gotta keep in mind when you're drilling holes on these cars, there's a lot of fuel lines and brake lines that run underneath the car, so you gotta, you gotta know where they're at before you start zapping holes in the car. Now you don't wanna tighten any of these bolts down yet till you get everything in. I'm installing the clamp on the cage. Right now, I'll be leaving it loose because my uh, my rear deck bar will determine the, the final orientation of it. We're trying to get the door bar pretty much level with the car right here. And then we'll use the door bar as a guide to where we need to drill for the, the front mount. One of the questions that a lot of people ask is, uh, is it certified for racing? And uh, we're going through that process right now. Uh, we've been in contact with SFI. They've taken a look at it. They've been very encouraging on that. And that process is going to take a few months. And it should, should be no problem. We're working very closely with Carl Olson and, and Joe Timmy at uh, SFI and East Coast Hunting Association to make all that happen. The cage we're putting in today is got the road race style bars. Now we do offer it with a drag race style bar too that's just an angled bar coming down. Now the main kit itself is the rear hoop and the bars. And then like the seat belt bar is an option and the door bar is an option. So you can option the cage out the way you want it. So if you want to go autocrossing on a weekend, you can put your, your shoulder harness bar in, go race, pop it out on Sunday and haul your kids to school on Monday. In addition to the uh, second gen Camaro that we've seen here, we also have cages available for the first generation Camaro, uh, the second generation Nova, uh, the Chevelle is done, and soon to be the 66, uh, 67 Chevelles, Mustangs, Challengers, they're all coming down the line. Yeah! <laughs>